The whole month of October, and it's different from June, which is Pride Month. This month is meant to reflect on the fight for civil rights and learn about great figures who have fought for equality. It started back in 1994 by a Missouri high school teacher named Rodney Wilson. He felt there was a part of history that we weren't teaching in schools. Now, right now, only five states require it as part of their lesson plans. They are California, New Jersey, Colorado, Oregon, and Illinois. But did you know, though, the first court case fighting for the right of two women to marry each other happened right here in Jefferson County. Back in 1970, marriage equality was still decades away, but activists here knew they were planting the roots for a better life for those who come after them. So for LGBT History Month, our friends at the Filson take us back in time with this installment of our series, This Month in History. M-M-A, J-O-H, A-N-S-E-N, Emma Johansson. History is kind of in my blood. I love to use it as an activist tool to know that, you know, there are people that have fought for social justice and equal rights before the people that are fighting today. And I think that as historians and archivists, we have to um, honor them and pay homage to them. Kentucky as a state has an immensely rich queer history that not many people would assume that we have. Like the first lesbian marriage trial in U.S. history, the Jones v. Hallahan case in July 1970. Uh, on July 6, 1970, two women under the pseudonyms Tracy Knight and Marjorie Jones went to the Jefferson County Clerk's Office to ask for a marriage license. There wasn't any law that said that marriage was between one man or one woman, but the clerk still denied them their marriage license and they took it to court twice to no avail. But even though the courts didn't um, approve of their marriage, people within the movement, they're like, you know, the long arch of history bends towards justice. This is like a, uh, a, a common thread within a lot of social justice and equal rights movements um, in that we might fail now, but years down the line it will set a precedent for future activists and future people that want to fight for the cause um, because we know that our cause is just. Kentucky has a distinct connection to the broader Supreme Court decision in 2015 that you know federally approved of gay marriage in every state um, because two Kentuckians were testifying on the Supreme Court and were actually part of, of that larger Supreme Court case. It made me realize that there are people like me that have existed for decades, that have existed for centuries, and they have fought tooth and nail to establish the legal rights that I have today and we need to recognize the people that came before us, learn from them and their strategies and organizing and to be a better ancestor for the people that will come after us. 